Hi, it's Andrew again. Motion sickness. Wow, what a subject. Actually a very easy one to work on. Um, over the years, I've had many people say to me, Ooh, Andrew, I get motion sickness in the car. In 23 years, I've never, never had anybody complain to me about this because we need to, to take care and deal with this correctly. I would instruct your captain on this issue. I would tell him where to go, what to do, and how to handle this problem. Here is how I used to do this. I would generally get the client to fly into a beef island in Tortola, um, that's uh, Trellis Bay on the British Virgin Islands, and I would meet them at the airport when they arrive, and then I would walk with the guests with suitcases to the boat, get on the boat, and introduce ourselves to the crew, etc., etc., and then I would just start the engines and motor around to Marina Key. Now, this takes about three minutes to motor around to Marina Key. Marina Key is one of my all-time favorite islands in the Caribbean. It's a little island. It has a, its own uh, barrier reef uh, surrounding it. It's all coral. And um, it's just a small little... 100 meter diameter island jutting right out the water about 70 feet. It's a little coral outcropping, but the thing is, it's got coconut palms, it's got um, lush vegetation, and it has a white beach, and it has a restaurant on the beach. So it's a lovely little island, and it's very well protected. So we go there, it's taken a few minutes, and we settle there, the guests can go and snorkel, do water skiing, whatever they want to do. And we'll have dinner on board the beat, on board the boat, happy hour before dinner, dinner, go to sleep. The next morning, the guests will say to me, Andrew, you can take me anywhere. This is fantastic. Because what's happened is we've got over that subconscious barrier They've realized this is just like being at a hotel, walking on solid ground. So now you can start seriously um, sailing for an hour every day in the morning or in the evening. But that is the way to do it. And I encourage guests to, to bring their wristbands, their ear pads and drummer men. But generally it's not used, but obviously you can wear your wristbands and your ear pads, but don't take your dramanine unless you're on board the boat and you do feel a little woozy, which I doubt. But anyway, once I've explained that to the captain that you're going to be with, everything will be fine. I doubt that that's going to ever be a problem for you, So, but I do need to take care about that. It is very important. We don't want you to feel uncomfortable during your vacation, during your ultimate vacation. And this is it. Thanks a lot. Bye.